Hi, thank you for joining us once again for the consecration to St. Joseph. I'm Joan Patton, Apostolic Oblate and um, Delegate for Consecrated Life for the Diocese of Orange. And we are on day nine for the 33 day consecration to St. Joseph. And so let us continue to pray. Um, if you have the book for Father Calloway, please follow along. Otherwise you can follow along on the screen. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We pray the prayer for the year of St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ had purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and by your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Day nine, noble offspring of David, pray for us. So we are on page 29 in the book. <clears throat> God saw to it that Joseph be born of the royal family. He wanted him to be noble, even with earthly nobility. The blood of David, of Solomon, and of all the kings of Judah flows in his veins. <clears throat> in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke, we learn that St. Joseph is of the lineage of the Davidic kings. The Old Testament prophets also taught that the Messiah would come from the Davidic line. Mary, our spiritual mother, was most likely a descendant of King David as well, but her ancestry is not given in the New Testament. Matthew and Luke present the lineage of Joseph because the Davidic ancestry of the Messiah needed to be shown through the father's line. Therefore, Matthew and Luke made a point of emphasizing that even though Jesus is not the biological son of Joseph, he is the son of Joseph by law. As such, Jesus has a legal right to be called a descendant of King David. The espousals between Joseph and Mary are an episode of great importance. Joseph was of the royal line of David and in virtue of his marriage to Mary would confer on the son of the virgin on God's son, the legal title of son of David, thus fulfilling the prophecies. St. Joseph was king of the holy family. He was not the king of Nazareth, Israel, or anything like that. Since every man is the king of his own home, St. Joseph was the king of his house. In the home of Nazareth, St. Joseph was king, Mary was queen, and Jesus was the prince, awaiting the kingdom, prepared for him, by his heavenly father. Jesus is king of kings and lord of lords, of course, but God's providential love desires that we acknowledge the kingship of Saint Joseph in the holy family. Jesus gave us an example of the filial love and reverence we owe to Saint Joseph, our spiritual father. Saint Joseph is a noble lord. Many saints have often lovingly referred to St. Joseph as their Lord. St. Teresa of Avila was particularly fond of referring to St. Joseph as her Lord. 
And using this term, no saint intends to claim that Joseph is God. Saint Joseph is not God. Saints sometimes use the term Lord when addressing Saint Joseph out of respect, as is done when addressing dignitaries and rulers. Saints are pious and love to express their filial relationship to Mary and Saint Joseph in devotional language. Mary, for example, is called Madonna. Madonna derives from the Latin mea domine, that is my lady, and is the feminine form of Lord. Since God has wanted to obey you, St. Joseph, allow me to be in your service, to honor you and love you as my Lord and master, from St. Alphonsus Liguori. And St. Ho Jose Maria Escriva says, the whole church recognizes St. Joseph as a patron and guardian. For centuries, many different features of his life have caught the attention of believers. That is why for many years now, I have liked to address him affectionately as our Father and Lord. Referring to St. Joseph as Lord has biblical foundations as well. Remember Joseph in the Old Testament, the one sold into slavery by his brothers? Well, Joseph's brothers end up calling him their Lord in Genesis 44 when they encounter him again, and he saves their family from famine. For us, St. Joseph is more than a brother. He is our noble spiritual father. He is our loving spiritual father and Lord. St. Alphonsus Liguori says, Noble St. Joseph, I rejoice that God found you worthy of holding this eminent position, whereby established as the father of Jesus, you saw the one whose orders heavens and earth obey subjecting himself to your authority. So now please join me in the litany to St. Joseph. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. Chase guardian of the virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the holy family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of holy church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He ha has made him Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. 
O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercession, intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And so now let us conclude with the Memorari to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, my spiritual father, and beg of your protection. O foster father of the Redeemer, despise not my petitions, but in your goodness hear and answer me. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. We'll see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.